Welcome to our Edgewonk August 2022 update and yes we have been quiet for the last two months but a lot has been going on behind the scenes so let me show you what we've been working on and what is coming. First of all still a lot of people ask us about the milestone if you want to hide it you can do it now here at the top and then it is gone. If you want to know more about the milestones you'll find it here in the left menu and then you can hover over the individual milestone buttons and get an idea of what the milestone is all about and how to get to the next level. And the idea is that each milestone will help you improve a different area of your trading. Next, what is new is the ability to copy a complete journal. So here, when you go to your database, first of all, you can create new databases easily by clicking here, or you can copy and duplicate an existing one. For that, we go here, and then you can see you have options, what you wanna copy over to your new journal. You give it a name, and then you can select what do you wanna copy over. You wanna copy over everything, or just specific parts to create a completely new journal. In the profit calendar, a lot of people ask us, how can we see the PL for that day? And you can do that very easily. So you can click here on the profit calendar, and then you get the overview for your whole year. And by clicking on the title of a specific month, you will get a detailed breakdown for each day, how many trades you have taken on that day, and also to P&L for that day. We also started to improve the usability of our journal. A lot of you have asked to make the experience a little bit more easy to edit. And what we did now is for certain columns, such as instruments, setups, and also the trade comments, you can just click into the cell, and then you will be able to easily change the entry here. In the future, we will expand this to all the columns, and also we're gonna add a feature to bulk edit multiple rows together. Also, we are working on a feature that will allow you to merge two or more rows. So if you wanna merge two or three trades, you will be able to do that in a future update. When we move over to our monthly reports, you will see that if you open here the month that we have added the visual arrows. So the arrows indicate week after week, has your performance improved or have your ratios gotten worse? So if you see the arrow going up, it means that compared to the last week, your performance and your metric has improved. The arrows are not ready yet for our monthly view, so they're only visible for your weekly performance. We also added performance ratios to various places in your journal. For example, here in the Home tab, under the Evaluation, you will now see Profit Factor, Sortino, Sharp, Karma, SQN, and Gain to Pain. You will also find them in your trade analytics when you scroll to the right, then here they appear, Sortino, Sharp, Karma, SQN, Gain to Pain. We also have them as a line graph. So under Chartlet, when you go to the ratios, performance ratio, you can visualize your performance ratios and so follow your performance over time. A lot of you have asked for a feature that will allow you to reorder your settings and we have enabled that for the comments. So if you go to settings, trade comments, you will see that now you have the ability to drag and drop your settings. This feature is only available for the trade comments for now and we are waiting for your feedback. Do you like this approach? Then we will also expand that to instruments, setups, sessions, and also the custom stats with one of our next updates. The reordering also reorders the filters here and also when you add a new trade, it will reorder what you'll see in the dropdown. With our last update, we increased the number of custom stats that you are using. And under trade analytics, we have now also added them to your ordering criteria. So if you have been using one of the additional custom statistic slots, they will appear now here in the ordering criteria on the bottom left, and you can use them in your trade analytics. We also worked on the profile page and the profile page now updates every 24 hours automatically. So if you wanna enable it, you go to settings. Under general, you have this tick box here public profile page. And then once you save it, you will find the option here under account and public profile page. And now that it has been enabled, you can share the URL with your friends on social media. And this will update every 24 hours. With our next updates, we're gonna work on the overall experience of the profile page and we're gonna change the look and what you can see here and also maybe make it more customizable. We also worked on a variety of smaller improvements and bug fixes that we were able to identify with your help. For that, thank you so much for everyone who reached out and provided feedback and shared their user experience. Thank you for all the support and happy journaling.